friends discount. Uh, it's well, only 20 uh, per piece of um, hard tack. So that's good then. And I shall 80 for that. And I then how much hay? You need uh, 8 hay to feature. Of a, a balding elf. What, what, what is, what is All right, that would be... He's going to defend you if you were to say... I'm just going to assume that every person I run into in Nardis is your friend of some kind. Some kind of minor offense in the eyes or of the Or less. Oh. I see. I mean, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. It's a good thing. It was mainly his not. Dude. Oh. Got provisions for cheap. All right. <sighs> Forty-eight plus. I'm not saying his friendship isn't good. I'm saying if you're making friends with everybody, you're going for quantity over quality. Ah, uh, some people are friends, and some people are friends. Right. <laughs> I don't want to assume what you friends can... means. There's hay for you. It'll be a silver 28 for everything. Though I, I would say, I would like to argue that the best Pick the hay. actions not to end up in that position in the first place. And here is your heart attack. Uh -huh. I see. Yeah, there's the start of the mass. So okay. I'm good. Of course. Good to see you, Paul. Thanks, Vez. Oh. Good day. Oh, cool. Is anything else? Um. Oh, nice to no. meet you. No, we're good. Thank you. Uh, uh. <laughs> all right. Pleasure is all mine. Hope you got saddlebags for that. Paul Elfman, barrister. Paul. Uh, Elfman, fine. barrister Elfman. Very nice. What, what is happening Thank in you. your head? You're welcome. My head? Is there something wrong with my yes, head? Your head. Uh, yes, it's. Um, I think that's what's. I think I think you're tugging on it too much, and you're you're like that is a lot of fluff. That is a lot of fluff. Six, you're making like a, a a chair out of it. So a different way back. Yeah, come on. Ah. Uh, uh, On closer inspection, you can see that the sack seems to contain some kind of straw. Also. <laughs> ah, I see. You there. You'll Please start to hear the shuffling of plates With in front of you. Come to me, I beckon you. Oh, so you, uh, we, you want me to clear the road? Yes. Remove thy like hood, my child. Standing. Come to me. God, they're invasive. Get another half of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I also have an uh, iron flask. So I got two flasks now. This is great. I like the iron one better. <laughs> yeah, I like the iron more, but I heard copper is actually really good for like S and back and shit. Whatever that means, you know? You think they're trying to convert people to Soto? Considering the robes? Probably. The worst part is that they think that they have enough foothold here to try. Hmm. Confidence or cocky? Empire isn't cocky, they're calculated. Something's sticking here, which is what your father had said. Yeah. Do you want this here or inside? You can stay there for now. I won't be retrieving it until probably the evening from the sounds. Sure. Don't need hail over the house. Even if it does act like a barn for how many people you have in there. Yeah. I understand your grievances. I've brought it up a few times, too. My grievances are because I'm trying to take what I'm here to do seriously. My job is to help. You think... You're frustrating. Hmm? I meant with the people inside. You said you're frustrating. I agree with you, what you're saying. Yeah. Then why do you let it happen? It's not up to me. Half the time it's Tazim. People feel comfortable in there. But it's a security risk. 
It is. Half the people that we have these big meetings with, I don't want Every single random friend that. that you make. Oh, they hate me. It's exactly it. I came here to help, and everybody and their dogs involved. Yeah. It takes just one person <clears throat> with shifting ideals to get pulled in by that bastard in a robe. I know. I've pointed people out and said I don't want them in these meetings, and Tazim said that he does. So. We do what we're told. How you doing, Tang? I understand. How do you feel about modifying a crossbow? That's... I'm gonna go inside and study. Sure. Shariq. Sound of plate coming down the road. It's not uh, really my area of expertise. Sounds like a more precision type job. I'd have to run it by Tazim. Or that uh, friend you have. Filth in the city. You're right, there is. Disgusting. Gird yourselves, men. Gird yourselves from the chaos that the Xeno leaks around itself. Undesirable. Um. Not really my kind of thing. Um, your tinker, a friend. Probably more likely. We could help provide the materials and do the hard work, but on a more intricate scale. Possibly. I know that in terms of precision, it's mainly the firing mechanism that is the most precise tool of it. Yeah. I just think that you might be able to modify the bow, the actual flexing part of it. What are you thinking? But I'll run it by him. Yeah. Attempting to lessen the power of it, less to make it more piercing and more bludgeoning, turning it more into a uh, training tool. I see. Wouldn't you want to work mainly with the bolts, if that's the case? Take off the tips, replace them with the... Uh... I don't know, wrapped cloth or something. Shariq, you and I are very well aware of what happens if you put enough force behind a small moving object, even if it is a blunted bolt. Okay, um... It sounds You've possible... what I can do with a couple of pebbles. It sounds possible, um... What about lengthening the string, maybe? Possibly. Lengthening the string, adjusting the shape of the actual bow frame itself, which is why I came to you. That part's made of metal. It doesn't you sound too hard. Me. Yeah. Um, run it by Tazim, just so we know, you know, what that kind of thing would do. How can I help? I was wanting to know uh, how much would it cost for a second-hand sword, not something made. Uh, well, most of the things we have would be making them, since we don't really keep a stock surplus here. If you can get I one, see. we can repair it. But, as for second hand... What would be the price for one? For a repair? No, for a sword. This approaches... One-handed iron sword if would be seven made. silver. I see. I will keep that in mind. I just wanted to, to know the price. Thank you. Of course. No, I doubt Mr. Tang's is probably worth even more. <laughs> That's a longer one and a bigger one, yes. But it's still made of cheaper materials. And the amount of time that I've been using a sword, I have not yet forayed into anything like steel or anything other. Fair. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you both. Of course. Have a good day. I will say that I've definitely considered it. We are heading to the clinic. Mm -hmm. It is time for the benediction of fire. So, on a side note, 
Who's your friend? Which one? The one who you were with. She's a friend from out of town. I'm sure you'll learn more eventually. Right now we're, you know, getting all our pieces together. I see. How are you holding and... up? Doing my best. Yeah. Gradia really is all about coin. Are you struggling? It's a little bit hard when you're trying to find ways to make it. Ah. Uh, less so me struggling and more trying to struggle for other people. Ah. Gradia is a very selfish place. I've been I've picked up on that already. Been having to do a few things that are. Well. A bit distasteful to me. That's but... Gradia, baby. I made my stance on the matters known, and they seem to be taking that into account. Good. But for the most part, just takes a lot of work even to do one thing like helping someone. Yeah, I know. It's the harder route, but it's better for us. I have to go uh, handle some things. I'll catch up with you later, okay? One more quick question. Go. <clears throat> I don't even know how effective it would be, but how much would it be to make a silver longsword? Not silver. Fucking steel. What <laughs> am I, a witcher? A watcher? Two-handed steel? <laughs> a watcher? Yeah, or hand and a half. It's... Long sword. So if that's two handed, then. 15 silver. I know, buddy. I know. I have half that and have been creeping up on not being able to make that. Can I pay you in pipe weed? <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. I'd like to offer a deal, but we're really slow on uh, iron right now, and what we have now is going to be it for a long time. So. I figured I would ask now, just in case that was actually the case. If you do happen to find yourselves flush with iron and capable of making steel, then I suppose it would be a decent upgrade. I'm not even sure how... More effective a steel blade is compared to an iron one. It's less likely I've to really break. gone wrong with the one that I have. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta handle this. Well, I can catch up with you later. If you do want to, we could uh, work something out with melting down your old two-handed sword. Might make the price a little cheaper. Something to consider. Possibly. I would just be going without it for a while. Yeah. Unless you have a loner. <laughs> no. I'll find you in a bit. Good luck.
thing I'll figure out. I think I forgot what we're doing now. How do I get down? Oh, well, I guess I'm stuck here. Can wait till tomorrow then. Well, I need a drink. Maybe you uh, have attended mass as well, so good luck finding one. Unless you guys are back to work. Uh, it does. There's just the most <laughs> thing going in here. Good morning. Uh, my friend, hello. <laughs> I do apologize. It has been a very busy morning. I know we normally meet in the morning, so. My friend, people get busy. It doesn't matter. Shall we, uh, go... Not like I, we, I had a way of telling you I was here. <laughs> Shall we talk about the fish? <laughs> That's already finished my drink anyway. <clears throat> Let me tell you all by the port. I'm a professional to purgation, uniting the fight against Zeno while we have each other. Something about the major. Been busy, my friend. Ah, uh, yes, this trip went, took a little longer than I thought it would, but I did get to oh, fucking wolf. finally collect some more outstanding debts that nice I was owed. Dog. Uh, hello. A wave of animals, my friend. <laughs> I guess they just like me. When I was young, I had a hound like that one. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Would... My father would feed some of the local animals, so some of them would hang out around the house. He was generous. <laughs> they can be uh, very loyal creatures. Indeed. <laughs> They also provided extra security when bandits would come and try to steal stuff from uh, small gardens. Some people are terrified of them. How's the fishing been? Hmm. Well, I did figure out some information about that black market you asked about. Ah, very good. Tell me. From what, from what I've been able to ascertain, it's run by a woman with flaming red hair. Apparently, she has different eye colors. Mm, I think I know the one. And, and apparently, she, she's a bit of a. What was the word my my man told me? Man eater. I don't think she gets along well. With men perhaps interesting i think she actually eats people that would be a little uh, weird i yeah i'm like it could i find someone else to talk to no okay um good <laughs> i think i know the, the one you're talking the only about. other information and the other bit of information i know is she has the brewmaster in her pocket really <laughs> Interesting. The only other, the only other thing is, like I said, she, a bit of a cutthroat as well. <laughs> then she would get along well with you and I, then, no? Perhaps. 
I, the only but I don't know what she looks like specifically, and I've seen quite a few people with red hair in town, so... I'm pretty sure I know the one based on your description. Interesting. I have a way of making a connection. I'm sure you will be able to get what you want. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kazimir. Anything else, generally? Most things have been quiet other than that. Hmm. You... Though if you have anything specific you want me to look into, I can let our people know. I think right now, just keep following what you're doing. Uh, keep, keep in contact with the people on uh, Belerner and Corcato, Corano, if you can. Let me know if anything pops up, especially anything of these uh, Dread Knives I've heard about. This understood. We will keep looking into it. As, as for me, myself, I think I'll be collecting more of my debts nearby, so hopefully I can give you information more consistently. Hopefully. Here, have a silver. That I do appreciate it, though. <laughs> of course. All right, time to find this uh, this woman. Thank you, Casimir. I wish you luck, my friend. Take it easy. Angel. Shouldn't hang around with strangers, catch. Have you eaten today? Would you like some food? You want some food? Come on. Thank you. Hey. What are you, some kind of thug? Who are you? <laughs> it's me. Oh. Yeah, I'm a nice dog, by the way. I don't know who me is. Very, uh, very Take the hood off you. Oh, my son. You've seen me with the hood on before. Kazim! What did you do with him? Can, can I throw a rock at him? Yes, in fact, I encourage it. Look at the puppy. Come here. What's the price? Oh shit. Ooh, with a 15A hits you square in the forehead. Oh, you oh my god, what was that? Was that a piece what? of. Have you met Kedge? What just happened? It's Kedge. Are you okay? Uh, you should get down. Here, I'll catch you. Is there something there? Oh, you don't Am I losing my mind? See that? Where on something you trust? You know you no. Trust me. <laughs> What's there? It's there. It's, it's, it's there. Seriously, don't fuck with me. There's there is, a, there is there. a dog. There is a wolf right here. <laughs> is it a implied wolf? No, it's it's no. there. No. It, no. No. Oh, there, there, there is, is the nothing. The there is nothing here. Kate, do you see a dog in the middle of the street here? 
There's no donk. It... <laughs> okay, there's a donk there. Who, who is it? Sprixa. It's Sprixa. I don't see her. Oh, no. <laughs> I wondered why I hadn't seen any of her characters. You're be actively being mauled by a wolf right now. She walked by you. Kedge, I need you to. I need you to unblock. <laughs> I was going to have him jump into my arms. I thought it was a hobbit. It was a full-grown elf. Yeah, no, it's a full-grown man. Don't go himself. Don't worry about paying me for it now. Everything's settled. I have to take care of some business. Look, listen to him lamenting. Fine. Poor man. He said, if you catch me, I'll give you some copper. <laughs> oh, I couldn't promise him when he stood up. I realized okay, he was a little bigger than I thought. That, um, this Come on, chill, Brooke. We've got to go. He's not around. Time is running out. Fine, I'm going to go do a job. Okay. Good luck. You best be in the building to get it. <sighs> I'm stuck with him, so I'm going to need more than that. Excuse me. Look. Ah, uh, did we want? find him? I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> Hello, we need to go. Bushy. Hello, little baby. Aegon's not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, we'll just make do with what we have then. As you sit here with the slant of the uh, that's what good. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> that's. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow, my leg. <laughs> you gently, catch. Please don't die. Gently. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the scratchies before I go. Have you noticed that he and I have matching eyes? I will throw that back at you. I swear to God. Don't no, actually. But now that you point it out. This is me and the boy. Me and my boy. Service, we need to go. We're running out of time. Look at my boy! Good luck, you two. What? Be careful. Who the fuck are you yelling at? You. Stopping over here for a moment. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Do you mind if we can take this inside for a moment? There's something you really need to hear. Okay. Come on, boy. Oh boy. Okay, so you want the bad news or the worst news? Um, I'd like the good news. Hang on. Kedge? Oh, he's into the food. Here, look, I'll make you something. Here we go. Here's some raw meat for you. Come on. Pottery and such, probably looking for food. And Kyler trying to corral a dog. Eat up. Oh. All right. Quick, while he's distracted. All right then. First of all, bad news. Okay. Imperial came to the forge asking about you. Yeah. Worst news. There's an Imperial Colonel. Hmm. Last I checked, there was no. Colonel left here, and unless I'm getting my ranks mistaken, I believe that's higher than a captain. Which means we have someone else in charge of the embassy now. Makes unless sense. I'm getting mistaken. No, that makes sense. Um, yeah, he would, by default, be the person in charge after the Major died. They were asking about you specifically. Claimed they wanted a dagger sharpened, but apparently, as they were walking off, I heard them offhandedly say that you apparently ran off. Yeah, well. I think you should probably let your father know that we have unwanted guests. I will. Considering that priest walked by and called me filth. <laughs> Were it any other place, they wouldn't have walked by with their heads still attached. Huh. You're right. Problems that I have, I need to speak with Tizim about a lot. I got word back in the state of the war up north between my people and the orcs. Really? And it's 
less than pleasant. How bad is it? They've been fought to a stalemate for now. But they've lost a lot. One of the... One of the frontier holds that they've been held, holding it for quite some time. The Longbeard in charge detonated several barrels of blasting powder in order to stop the orcs from having the hold after he was the last to survive. Now that hold is gone. Nothing but rubble. God. But it does give me an idea as to why they're here. The war boss that's been sent here is more than likely a splinter from the main force, which is attempting to spread here so it can gather more resources so that it can take on the orcs, or not the orcs, the dwarves. More than likely, this party was sent here deliberately in order to pillage and raid the surrounding gradient lands of their wealth of resources so that it can be ferried back up north. Which means that these towns, Palermo, and more specifically, Otis, are more than likely their target because they want to create a raiding port where they can build the ramshackle ships and go raiding all across the coast that's for the sake of gathering supplies and sending them up to nor north to Agmodrod. That's big moves. That's huge. I didn't think orcs would think on this scale. It's more than likely only one. It's only one potential part. This is only one party that we know of. There's no guarantee that they're not sending more. The king under the mountain currently holds the line against the orcs, from what my brother has told me. And from what I can see, thinking of a strategy, or as a strategist, it makes the most sense that while they are besieging my people, they seek outside sources of resources, supply, and areas to grow in order to ferry them upwards. Which is why this forge is so damn important to them. I need to speak with them on the plans we had and we need to gather people to begin dealing with these things because otherwise the trade in and out of here is going to dry up faster than we can stop it. <clears throat> That expansion is already beginning to get underway. I've seen it. Yeah. We've had hunting parties in the forests, getting ready to cut down the trees. And sooner or later, the sardillos will be gone. We can't afford to sit and wait. We have to do something. I believe the elves have already begun their assault on the ambush points down near Caseto. I'd heard of talk of travellers meeting bloodbaths here and there. We can't afford to sit and wait. We don't have the time. And that's only the orc problem. We still have to find a way to stabilise this region. We're working and on the way to try and do It's hard, though. There's so many moving parts. Yes, well, unfortunately, the surgeon brought me some rather... I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat it. Horrifying news. It's his dreams again, lad. Only this time, far worse. Apparently, he saw something abhorrent commanding the legions, and that's the words he used, legions, below to march. And apparently, he saw familiar faces, even those that were burned. 
amongst the ranks. Not something I want to lay on you all at once because it's not really my dream. What he laid upon me has me questioning everything and makes me very thankful that we procured my grandson's remains, otherwise he might have joined their ranks. Hmm. I'm glad we got him too. Like I said, bad to worse news. <sighs> I can't even begin to explain what he's told me. It's a lot. None of it good. When is it ever? <sighs> here I thought... Here I thought I was finally getting to see some peace. No. Not a chance. <sighs> I'm going to intend to focus on the orcs, and with my brother with me, it shouldn't be as big a hassle as it was. And I have... We have a chance to do more than what we need, which is good. I also noticed uh, the young lad, the blonde one. Uh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name. Jensen? Mm. Apparently he works part-time for the Sardillos. If we have him join our volunteers, we can actually get in good with the Sordillos by having one of their own with us. <clears throat> mm. It opens a door that's otherwise closed to us. I suppose. Though the whole point of this operation was to get the Sordillo company to be indebted to us. So a bunch of outsiders getting... That's... Yeah. That's the idea. It's more that we can have Jensen inform us when the next supply shipment is. Ah. Good thinking. Our next caravan will be what we have to target, because we have to stop the orcs as they assault it. Agreed. There's a decent area which I saw myself with Lady Seth when we were going to go for a walk. A unfortunate and ill-advised uh, walk, yet I managed to see it with my own eyes. There's a nice little ledge next to the waterfront that can be used to gather some people near the road that leads towards the Sardillo camp. Mm. If a cart is being attacked on that road, it's a perfect point to come in to be a relief. Good. I've already spoken with a few people. Very few. Let Dredge know that we'll be needing his assistance more than likely. We need to continue working on his reputation after all. I tried to find Lady Sif, but I believe she's been recovering. Things have been difficult. The hunters as well would be useful to have, but... I've spoken with Thorin on the matter. I don't know that I intend to have him join me and help me in dealing with this. He has agreed to lend us assistance. Although, I warn you now that he is intent on judging yourself and your father, or your character himself. I expect it as much. He's a bit rough around the edges, so be careful. Even if he's comes off as insulting, it's... Well, he's a Dowie. He's just less tempered than I am. Tends to think more with his hammer than his head. I think we can work around that. But, at the very least, I'll let you know. Mm. I intend to speak with Tizzy when I can catch the bastard. But, um... I also intend to have Silman be brought here so he can explain it to you himself. At least from my point of view, I don't think we should sit idle 
when this thing happens from watching the past, apparently that's exactly what has happened throughout the past. And we call it a third. Yeah. I can't afford it to be a third. I agree. So, I'm letting you know ahead of time. Mm hmm. Thank you. I okay. intend to grasp. Not a problem. I'm not going to keep you any longer. Nor you, lad. Or is it last? I can't tell. It's a lad. I don't want to keep you falling asleep on me. <laughs> by me wagging my tongue too much. Such a soothing voice. Good boy. I'm going to head down out for a little bit. Give my brain sorted so that I actually know what I'm going to talk about tonight. Sure. Well, this evening, hopefully. I'll see you later. Actually, Drink spills. Ah! I'll be right back.
That's a good time to put my shit on charge, just in case we go long today. Smell red flags. Yep. Today, I s <laughs> Dear Diary. XOXO Gossip Drill. I didn't move my fucking shit so I'm not on the edge of my goddamn. <laughs> <clears throat> Some days I feel like trap I'm trapped in a submarine. <laughs> Not entirely sure how to start these things. So I'm just gonna kinda get into it. Lady Armory suggested I should write every day to improve my writing skills. Perhaps it's an insult to Vezrin. But apparently, they're not up to stretch. Scratch. For a lord. Or even a lordling. Maybe this isn't. Is, isn't. Such. With a T? Nope. Such. A bad way. For me to. 
process things that are going on. Dip, 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 dip. <clears throat> Despite feeling like this is just a giant security risk. I've decided to go a long, a long, a, a long, a long, a long, that's a different, <laughs> a long with it. For now, at least. <clears throat> I <laughs> I'm not entirely sure and anti early sure where this book thing will turn up, turn, turn up, turn it, turn up. So I hope it falls into good hands. It is hard for, for me to be as open as these things usually are, but I will do my best. I do not want to dis uh, dis uh, disappoint anyone. Anymore. The sky is blue and cloudy. Kyle the bitch. Uh, that's kind of personal. <laughs> I was here the whole time, don't freak out. Oh, you saw that, huh? <clears throat> mm-hmm. I figured, um, I don't know. I... This right here? Uh-huh. Disappointed is one word. It's not disappointed, it's disappointed. No. Disappointed. <laughs> How's that? Good. I'm not going to smack your hand, but you need to flourish your K more. I'll do it better tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't know. You'll do it better it. each time you practice. That's the hope. I'm able to find you. <laughs> Sorry. That's usually the case for people. It's actually not a bad spot up here. It's actually really nice, yeah. It's good at sunset. The sun sets over the ocean. You probably don't get that over there, do you? Not really, no. It's nice. I didn't know that this part of the house existed. 
I guess I left it out on our tour. I am sorry. I'm going to assume it's because you wanted a place to hide away from me. I have plenty of places to hide away from you. <clears throat> if I want to. You think that? Makes you feel small, doesn't it? Really does. It was a good amount of writing, by the way. I didn't expect you to take it seriously. I'm trying to. I don't know how long I'll keep up with it, but I'll do my best. It seems very, um, <clears throat> if you give the word, like, poncy. But, I don't know, maybe I can poncy. give it... You know, like, it sounds like the kind of thing, like, a scribe would do all... You know, and, yeah. Being literate isn't just for scribes. Don't you ever want anybody to know what your life was like? That's what I was thinking. All the hard things you've worked for? I could give it to my kid if I ever have one, along with this sword. I think that sharing your wisdom isn't a bad idea. And, when you finish writing it, you can have a scribe Rewrite the parts that were really messy that you kind of fumbled on in the beginning. Because the book's going to be like, chicken scratch, chicken scratch, kind of legible chicken scratch. I figured as much, yes. <laughs> Proper writing. Yeah. That That's is. kind of the cool part about it. You get to look through it and see your progress. Mm. It might be really slow, though, but <laughs> it could be interesting. It's weird. It'll come. Up until recently, I've never really thought this far mm. into the future, you know? It's always kind of been a day-by-day -day basis. I got it. I do. When you lived the way that you and the Lord lived, makes sense. Mm. But you would uh, live as such. I don't know what to do with myself during the day. <clears throat> yeah, well, we've done our training. I'm doing my literacy. <clears throat> Sometimes days are just like this. Quiet. I noticed. What do you do? Usually find something to do. Catch up with people, yeah. make sure I figured that part. People are doing okay. I meant the oh, you mean all the billions of friends that you're supposed to hang out with? I guess <clears throat> it's hard being so popular. Do you resent me? No, like I said, I'm just worried about security risks. Guess I'm just jealous. Of having friends. Maybe a bit. Hmm. Well, like I said, when you care about people, you open yourself up to hurt. Seems like you keep doing it, though. It's because I'm desperately wanting it to be different every time. Hope, I guess. Sometimes it is, for a while. Do you keep the people in your life that end up hurting you? Depends how bad they hurt me. I'm still gonna ask why. Sometimes it's usefulness, other times... Tazim's voice rings out in my head. There's only a few people that have passed redemption. Truly passed redemption. We always give... I don't know if that's a chance I can take. I felt the same, that but... Was that everything we have at stake? 
I thought it was the noble thing to do, so I try and uphold it. Against... Noble to who? I don't know. <laughs> I just try and do what he does. <clears throat> He gave me a second chance. What did you do? I mean, a second chance at life. He didn't need to, you know, do any of this for me. He really didn't. But he did, and I'm here, and I'm grateful. Mm. So it makes me wonder, you know, if we can give people second chances and they become the best person that they can be because of that. Isn't that better for everyone? I mean, he gave you a second chance when you didn't abuse his trust. That's not a bad thing. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe sometimes I just hold on too tightly. I don't want to let people go. I don't think that's bad. I don't think it's right either. Yeah. If we had a different life, maybe. <clears throat> Simple gossip and secrets are one thing. You know, if that was the stakes that we had, I suppose. It is more than that. You strike me as someone that has really low self esteem. Hmm. You keep saying that, and maybe it's true. Guess I'm just curious why. Well, for the longest time, and I mean... 50, 60 years, it was true. I was nothing. That's just how it was. It's kind of hard to... tell yourself otherwise, you know? I don't get it. What do you mean by nothing? Street trash. Uh. My father left before yeah. I even knew him when he found out my mum was pregnant. And my mother hated me because of it. So immediately upon <laughs> being brought into this world, the two people that were supposed to nurture me and guide me either left or despised me. Kind of installed that thought process at a young age, I guess. I thought all of the drow kind were born somewhere else. Not all of them. Well, I figured that part out now, seeing so many of you all of a sudden. Gradier is a strange place. <clears throat> a lot of them start off as slaves. They get brought here against their will. Slave is a big trade here, yeah, as I'm sure you already know. Draw go for a lot of money, but... Well, mm. I guess that's one of the reasons why they, uh, so many of them end up here. At least that's Makes my sense. thought process. Hmm. Isn't it dangerous for you to be here, then? Very. Don't worry, it's half of why I'm here. Bring me in the Lord, I don't think anybody would get their heads on you. The Imperialist walked past earlier. He called me filth. Yeah, well. And between them and when people from my past... When all of this goes past, right, we won't have to worry about that. Yeah. Between them and people from my past, if, if I'm recognized or people hear my old name, <laughs> the things they would do to get to me. Hmm. Worry, I do. Not for me, but for everyone else. You're really only building that case as to why I get so confused why you have so many people so close. 
I'm not saying don't have friends. I'm not saying don't have relationships. But it seems very fast and loose and dangerous right now. I mean, it's not like we walked into town and was like, everyone come be my friend. It just sort of happens. I can't tell if you're just really nice or you don't know how to say no. <laughs> People think I'm nice. Telling me you're not nice? I'm not sure, honestly. Between you and me, <laughs> this nicety thing started as a survival mechanism. When I first showed up mm. into Ireland, I figured if I was nice to everyone, they could come to my aid. Even the people I fucking despised. And sure enough, they did. No one there hated me. But I was in with everyone. I see. I could learn so much about so many people, and they wouldn't bat an eye. If I was a more nefarious person... God. Mm. But I was just trying to survive, so... Now I genuinely care about a few people. I do. Other people, not so much, but... <laughs> a good quality to have. I just think you need balance. I figured that was a pretty regular, like, lord thing to do, you know? Even if you hate someone, if you're sitting at them at a negotiating table, or you're, you know, at a court or something, don't let that be known. There's a certain... strength in being able to, like I said, exercise the boundaries and the force while being polite. <laughs> yeah, I need to figure that out. <laughs> Court life isn't a lot of fun, though, I'll warn you. Yeah. I... Ugh. I am dreading it, I'll be honest. I'd take a hundred beatings from you any day over one day in court. You'll survive. Unfortunately. <sighs> Better than I do. Not much of a politician. I'm told I'm not very nice and not much of a people person. What do you think? I don't think I'm very nice and I don't think I'm much of a people person. I think that's fair. We are the next generation of lords and ladies. It is going to come down to us in the end. Yeah. That means yeah. you too. Yeah, unless I die valiantly on the battlefield. <laughs> if I have to suffer through this, you will too. I don't remember making a pact with you about co-suffering lordship. That's fine by me. <laughs> oh? Are you vindictively gonna keep me alive just so we have to suffer together? Depends on how to train me. <laughs> I might skip a few steps then if that's the case. <laughs> you fear it that much. Okay. I don't I don't like dresses. First off, mm -hmm. you can't move. Mm -hmm. Are you supposed to do anything? Mm -hmm. Secondly, the conversation's really boring. Do you think I could get away sitting like this at court? Do you think I could get away sitting like this at court? 
you could get away with it more than I could. Really? What is different for women? Yeah. Not what I'm for judge. ladies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think they're just as capable, honestly. Some of the most scariest people I've met on the battlefield. The most devious people I've met in the negotiations. Uh, just a lot. I like being outside. All right, follow me. I like training. I like my horse. Uh, follow me if you like. When you become a lady of the house, you put on a dress. Get on that wagon, get there quickly, sit nicely. Man. You drink tea, which there's nothing wrong with tea, by the way. Tea is fantastic. <laughs> I figured that. Much. Yeah, I think they're going off somewhere. Good luck. They work, uh, I think they work for the mercenary company. Um, mm. well, if that's the case, when I'm in charge, I'll try and keep you out of the courtroom as much as possible then. If I can. Though... It becomes a problem when I have to represent my house. Yeah. But maybe I'll get a really cute, bumbling, stupid husband. <laughs> and he'll do all of it, and I won't do a thing of it. I would have you on my council, though. That's... <laughs> of course. That'll be much much more late. When we're though. done all this... ...and, uh... ...we get over there... ...you're in... You and, ...you're in power, just... ...that's my request. <laughs> I want a stupid husband I don't have to see that does all the politics. Is that up to us? Isn't that up to your father? Yeah, but I'm sure you have influence. <laughs> I will use my limited sway to do that as much as I can. <laughs> if you see anybody you don't Good. recognize in armor, they're hostile. Kill them. I'll pay you extra. Bloody hell. That sounds like a lot of fun. You want to sign up for the merc companies? No. My job is to train you and make sure that you don't get sna baby snatched. <laughs> <clears throat> That being said, if you end up sneaking out, and it's not a huge stealth mission. Damn. I mean, he has yet to retort, so at the moment. What does that mean? I'm waiting for a counter offer. That means I guess I can forego sleeping on time if you need help. I see. <clears throat> I'll be back, Aegon. Don't worry. Kazim hasn't really told you much about my role thus far, has he? Well, I saw a bit of it last night, how sneaky you are. So yeah. I assume... Why are they shouting? Load up, let's get moving. I'm trying to impress you. Aegon, fuck off. You fuck off. You two guard my wings, fell over each other. I'm on a job, I'm trying to address them. To the mercenaries building for harassing us on a they're job. not very professional, are they? <laughs> they're mercs, they're not like an army. Oh, that's the worst part. I think your father wants me to go talk to some of them. But not the easiest, I'm going to assume, to convince. Just find the ones that think might is right, and you'll do great. Telling me, kick their ass and make them bend the knee. Got it. I won't say bend with the a little knee, bit of coin. just, yeah, <clears throat> get in good with them. Yeah, be, a, be a, more of a people person. Have you met me? <laughs> I have. It was a joke. You'll do great, I'm sure. Oh, thanks. I love jokes at my expense. I'm my favorite person. I didn't mean to offend. Yeah, fine. I realize that my upbringing has not graced me with the social presence that perhaps would be useful. Well... Can't be good at everything, I suppose. I'm certainly not. Not yet. Just wait. <clears throat> Once you actually have court life, you'll get the worst lesson of all. 
dare not even speak it out loud. <clears throat> Go on. The dreaded dance lessons. <laughs> no. I've, I have learned to dance once, and I was very drunk at the time. It was actually They're a couple of days ago. Learn. Over my dead body. You think that. <laughs> Just wait. When everything's settled down <clears throat> and we're there, duties will change and suddenly it's wear better fitting pants, learn how to dance, learn how to hold court, learn how to eat with the right fork. But what is the point of learning how to dance? What what value does it give us, like, actually, that other things can't? In a perfect world, it's the same thing as a battlefield. Court holds me places to entertain and impress and intimidate. By dancing? Dancing is kind of like that. Yeah. The day I become intimidated by women. someone's dancing. Intimidating the men. There's something about a man being able to do both. <clears throat> I guess. Being soft and calm and regal while also being a force to be messed with on the field. Ugh. Plus, wouldn't it be embarrassing if you're holding court with your father? And some lady from a visiting nation and her father visit and they ask to dance and then you trip all over your feet and embarrass them, maybe spill some ale on her dress? I'm endearing. That's not good. That's the thing. No. Not to these people. Fine. This sounds horrible. Some of them are going to be happy. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are just going to be happy and they'll accept you. And then there are some that are going to make you think that you have more to prove because of who you are and what you are. Unfortunately, you need those people too. <clears throat> yeah, it's like a whole other world. Yeah. It's kind of the fun part about being in Gronia. <clears throat> I don't gotta worry about it. I don't get sun like this over there. Good. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Suppose you don't like it, huh? I much prefer in the evenings or mornings. Going out on the beach at this time in uh, some of the other towns in the area that use white stone. It's, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll keep our morning sparring to the early morning then to be easier on your eyes. Thank you. I'm not completely unreasonable, especially if you're putting the work in. You know, when I was younger, I applied to be a city guard. You? Mm. No offense. Well, they denied me, said I was too weak and too small and too purple. Well, you are a little small. But you can fix that. I'm kind of worried I could break you in half, to be honest. That's why you need to condition. I'll admit, in grapples, I'm... I fold like a page of a book. Old injuries and... That's half of shield combat. Grappling and... Reposting. Keeping... Locked swords. That's not gonna do well for me, though. We'll work on it. <clears throat> Just work on it. Plus, you'll have the Lord. And me. If I see you getting your ass kicked on the battlefield, I guess I'll come pull you out. That would be handy, thank you. <clears throat> Grab you by the hood like a little kitten. Touch my hood. Such. I'm gonna. That's the safest place to grab you. It's like the scruff.
Sometimes I feel like there's a very angry man yelling in my head that I can hear all, all times. <laughs> Sometimes I can hear that Where? too. <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> I don't have a dog. You don't? Is it a cat? What is it? I'm kidding. I was like, what the fuck? You got a skinwalker? <laughs> well, you know what? I was allergic to dogs. I had to get creative. Uh. <laughs> That's how I get so much inspiration for other rules. I see. Just ignore it if you hear it. Thank you <laughs> for proving my point. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just... It's this new audiobook. Uh, bring me sleep. It's sounds to fight orcs to. Oh it's yeah. Really relaxing. Oh nice. Playing it right now. Yeah. yeah. This is where you hide all day. I find that odd since you don't like the sun. Yeah. No, I'm usually out and about. Actually, I don't spend as much time up here as I'd like to be. By all means, got something to do? <laughs> no, I don't. I usually look for something to do or someone to talk to, but do a bit of sneaking sometimes. Oh yeah, in the middle of the day. Exactly. No one expects it. Forgive me for being so bold and potentially racist, but you're purple and you wear a lot of black. How do you sneak around here? Carefully. There's a part of my brain that says that doesn't work out very well, but I'm going to believe you anyways. No, if you pick up a few things, a few tips and tricks to use. I'm good at what I do. I feel a bit bad. Why? I feel like perhaps I shouldn't be walking around with my face out as such. <clears throat> my cloak is just so uncomfortable and cumbersome. I don't think you need to. Though people do keep asking, who's your friend? And I'm like... <laughs> that tone too? Yes. Who's your friend? Yes. <laughs> exactly like that. I say she's a friend from out of town. It sounds like back home. Oh? I didn't go out a lot. Outside of my training and stuff, when I did go out. Either with my father, or maybe some of the other people I was training with, it was always, who's that? Who's that? Mm. Look who's come out of her room. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. I can't argue with that. Yeah, pretty <clears> much. <throat> I just don't get it how going to a place where there's just so much constant talking. It's talking one on top of each other and it's just like this big mesh sound. How oh, that's enjoyable for people. Uh. I understand what you mean. It took me a while to get used to it too, especially with my elf ears. People are really loud when they don't need to be. And then it gets to the point where like they're trying to talk over each other. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but like you're already in that loud area and then the people talking to you that are really close to you feel like they also have to be loud so they're like shouting <clears throat> at you. Yeah, I see. Or they're right there. I see. Ugh. The place we went today. With the hard tack and stuff. Mm. Do you think we can get their hands on books? You could definitely ask. Bezrin is actually a, an ex-scribe. 
him. Yes. Doesn't really look the part. No, anymore. It's been a long time. I don't you... think he likes me. I think he's... Yeah. He's not a bad person. It took you that long to answer, and you didn't say no. So now, I know. I was trying to find a, a polite way to put what I wanted to say, and then I just decided to bail on it. Kind of seems like a dick. Him? He's got that look that I've seen at court sometimes. <clears throat> his chin's a little bit too high. Kind of looks down his nose. Uh, seems self-important. Yeah, that's that's the elf in him, I guess. You'll find out more about him eventually, I'm sure. Yeah. I've met enough elves to know that not all of them act like that. That's racist. Welcome to Gradio. I add teach not to be racist to the curriculum. Should add sexist on there too. Oh my god, you're sexist now, too? <laughs> no. No, no, no. I said I quit. <laughs> Didn't sign up for this. Did you brush your horse today? Not yet. I've been with you most of the day. No, I haven't seen him yet. Well, I sometimes I wonder if Tizim's going to take me out to give me riding lessons. And then he gets busy. So. But I he do. He seems like a really busy guy. I mean, yeah, you see how many people ask for him just in the streets. It's Tizim. Have you seen Tizim? Do they want him because he's a blacksmith, or do they want him because he's Tazim? Bit of both. It startles me how many people are in your affairs. I'd like to handle a lot of it myself, but unfortunately... We can't. My hesitation only comes from the fact that I haven't been introduced or I know who these people are. I keep waiting for the big meeting where we bring everyone together and he explains it to everyone. Saves me having to answer, who's that? Who's everyone? Can you at least give me a nod to people I don't have to glare at every time they ask me where you are? Oh, are you choosing to glare at them? I figured you just got annoyed with everyone. It's annoying to be asked. I'm not your keeper. Or if I'd babysit her, maybe. It's hard. We have varying degrees of trust. Circles upon circles. Yet all of them seem equally as nosy. All of them think they're in the inner circle. And who's in the inner circle, then? Well, the inner inner circle is you, me, to see and ones. Crenshaw. <laughs> I see. <clears throat> there are people you trust, and then there are people you trust to do certain things. If you catch my meaning. I do. I just have no understanding of who's what. You will eventually. I'm just kind of ready to cut anybody down at this point. Honestly, in Grady, that's not a bad bet. Considering the day that we found you, we <laughs> had four or five people invade our home. We had to butcher them. Yeah, I saw the bodies on the street. All the blood. 
Mm -hmm. Still don't know what that's about fully. Interesting. On top of that, there have been excursions dealing with the orcs. Off. Oh no. Um, there have been excursions dealing with the orcs in the forest. They're becoming a bigger and bigger threat every day. Bandits and orcs are the most things we fight at the moment. Orcs. <laughs> Interesting. Ever fought one? No. What about them? <clears throat> if I may provide some pointers. By all means. The main strength is their strength. So if you're going to be using your shield and sword, don't try and get into locks if possible. Parry the blade or move around them. If they can get a hold of you, it's... Sense. Fucking brutal. They use big cleavers. Ragdoll. Yes. These huge cleavers which can break shields if they need to. Though yours is metal. And probably fare a bit better. They have a sense of smell. They can smell you if you're hiding, if you're not careful. And they are vicious. Quick. I see. One of the biggest downsides is that they aren't usually well-structured. However, with information that we've managed to glean from this particular group, we believe they're from Amorgadrod, and they're under the lead of a war boss, which means their tactics are far superior than a regular orc you would come across here. Huh. It's just very deadly. So, avoid getting hit, avoid locking with them if you can. Or keep that under advisement. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll find your way through them. Well, if I don't, I don't. Why did you seem so bothered about the idea that I'm so comfortable with dying? You haven't told me everything yet. <laughs> I see. And... Don't worry, I won't die until I'm done teaching you. If I am going to be doing this whole... thing... I need people like you in my court, people like you in my council. I don't plan on dying. No one ever does. One of the only ways that you can build up a country is if you live for it, but I'm prepared to do it. You and I both. Just hope it doesn't have to happen, that's all. I thought Gregor yes, would I be do. on my council. He's gone. I thought Haskell would have been on my council. He's gone. Arns. Getting older and older every day. So. <clears throat> if I end up not making it back, do me a favor. Take this ring back to my dad. Understood. What's wrong? The sun's out. Oh. 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 
front of yours? Not yet. That is Morden's son. Brother. Brother, I believe. Brother? Son? He's like dwarven. There's a big difference between the two. Dwarven nobility. He's quote unquote rough around the edges. My kind of people. Thorin. Good afternoon. Oh, hello. Good to see you. <sighs> so it's... What day is it? Is it two or three days past? It's been... <laughs> it's the next morning. I saw how much you drank. Oh. I thought I'd sleep myself to a stupor for at least two days. Oh, when my mind hits. <sighs> Uh, I, you know, having a, a little bit of a, you know, ah, to be young. Uh, huh? I'll what? To, it. to be young what? and so youthful. Uh. I'm 80. What's he getting on about? I don't know. That's young. What are you on about? Uh, are you Morden's brother or son? I can't remember. What has my baby brother been saying to you? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> he was very... Oh, I'm very curious. He was very happy to have you here. He was worried you weren't going to show up. Uh, almost didn't. I was a box on the road. Yeah. We'll be dealing with them in kind, eventually. You should come mm. along. Well, I've been saying what my brother's been cooking. Right now, you're just living in a damn pebble fort, so... I'm not sure how long you'll last, to be honest. Long enough, I hope. Well... As long as you don't do anything stupid, I see you're not having too much of a problem. Yeah, uh, you're the blacksmith's son, right? That they were all telling me about. Correct. I think we met in passing, but I don't think we've met fully. Hmm. Ow. <sighs> I'm Shriek. Pleasure to meet you. Ah, I see. Thorin Stonehammer. Good to see ya. <laughs> see, the grip is very tight. Mmm. Mmm. an old skull with that grip. For someone something. That <sighs> oh, would be the first time. Pro is more of a challenge these days. Hmm. What news of, uh... Well, mm. up north. Hmm. Well, hasn't more than told you? He has. I'm just curious to hear it from you. Hmm. He didn't have any good news. I was wondering if you well. might glimpse him. Well, it's not bad news. Not good news. But to be honest, I'm kind of strange to share it with you. I haven't really gotten to know you. I'm telling things of my homeland, no offense. I don't know you as well as Morden does. Understandable. I don't even know this, uh, blacksmith all that well as well. I'm sure we'll get properly acquainted eventually. But until then, I won't pry into any of your secrets. I don't mean to offend. Oh, no offense. If anything, I probably know more about you than you do about me at this point. Hmm. Loose lips? My brother is... My brother is a big moth. Understand. Might have a word with him about that, then. Yeah, it's only for family. <laughs> if you have to know... You didn't hear that. <clears throat> you need to know, well... 
On the field, there's a bit of a unique situation, say the least. It's been a long time since we've had a state of an emergency. You know, you know me? Mm. Right now, we're in a stalemate with Ogmandrod. Not a bad thing. Good. The only issue is, is the, uh, pest infestation has been pouring in from Ireland, you see. Really? They've been taking the deep roads. Bugger. That's where right we're now we've been lucky so far. We've only lost one of the outer fortresses. But we were lucky. We made sure they couldn't take it. I heard you blew it up. All oh, right, the kingdom gone. <laughs> that long beard was a brave one. My condolences. Um, he was a brave, brave Dawei. He'll be remembered in the halls. And since the same's my baby brother has also a big mouth to you, we've been having some problems with, uh, well, the courts, as it were, for the High King. So much so, they're sending an elf. They're sending an envoy to the elves. Oh, that's big. Hmm. They shouldn't be coming through not to sunny day now. Hmm. Desperate times, I suppose. Well, if me baby brother's been telling you everything, that's not entirely a good thing. We're trustworthy. We're on the score. Mm -hmm. I was part of the party that brought back his grandfather, his grandson. Mm. I knew him pretty well. I have to ask you something. Of course. Honestly. Has there been any proper heel looking at Morden? Is there any what, sorry? Have you had any proper healers looking at Morden? At, at Morden? Since the... Yeah, I... Why does he need Haven't a Haven't you noticed? In the years I haven't seen him, he's grown thin. He's even said he's having a harder time raising his axe. It's not just old age. Ever since apparently he got hurt. From, uh... Well... Things that lie deep. So to speak. I understand. I haven't noticed. I haven't known him that long enough to see him in his prime. Ah, well, he and I were at equal footing, you see. We spent many, many years on the field, blaming orc heads here and to there across the mountain peaks. Those were good times. Well, the apothecary is the building at the end of the pier, down that way. They're friends of ours. If you'd like to ask them some questions, they might be able to help. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not much of a medical person, but they would be the people that I would go to. Hmm. And you say they're, uh, trustworthy or friends of them? I'm not really a fan of talking to a lot of the... 
No offense to the lady there, Ungies and, uh, well, my fears. <laughs> no offense. You seem like a very nice fella. Humorous. Like I. <laughs> I can leave. Ah, uh, insulted there, didn't I? I think so. Uh, that wasn't my intention. It's okay. Uh, oh well. I don't think she's I'm used to. I'm pissed off at me. I don't Won't think she's around. Used to being around that way. That's okay. <clears throat> nah. Uh, you seem to have a right back to her loose. You've kept your back forward then your eyes looking at me. Been thrown away once so far. You know, it's a shame besides, you know, looking around. <laughs> well, I won't keep you from whatever hangover cure you intend to use. But they are trustworthy. If you ask them to look after more, than uh. they will. <clears throat> I'll try to get a judge on them. See if, uh, the word mean anything, as it were. <laughs> you, uh, take it easy, mm. Master Dowie. Here's my last model one. Try not to get hurt. <sighs> I usually do. Oh, and you're doing that right. Not dealt with many Dawei before. No. Ah. He meant no offense. The way he spoke, I assumed he wanted to speak to you privately. Oh, no, no. Um, I was trying to convince him that the apothecaries that we know are trustworthy. That's all. Ah. What? Hmm? They're staring. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I dropped my book and I don't know where it went. Strange. What time are you leaving? Later tonight, I assume? I don't know. Father said he had something for me. I'm simply waiting. Hmm. I apologize, there's not much to do right now. There's as much to do as you make there is to do. How about... We go shopping. We can Teach go shopping. Cook something simple. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Is that would just be a little I bit more just like that. the usual table. 
So if we take this as a base and we add more to it, I could do, oh God, with wood as it is. Let me think. For a, for a full ass workbench, I think I could do three and a half, four silver. Which one? I can cover that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it'd be about four silver if I include the labor. So it'd take two days. Yeah. Have a workbench. With all the fixins. All right. Yep, yep. Okay, should be today and, and the you end of tomorrow. You know where it's going. Of. Yeah. Right. Uh, absolutely. I can I, do that for you. Upper floors. Yeah. I'm I figured. already starting on my first. Well, second project. The first project was actually the building itself. Second project. Yeah. Do you guys know if Wainwright stopped in today yet? Absolutely. Uh, Who's Wainwright? It should be soon. I'm, I'm bu- this, this salesman here. I'm building the wall between his place and Bucci's. I won't ask. Uh, uh, yeah, I can go see if he's around. Uh... Oh my god. It's, uh... Making a... I'll go, I'll go take a knock at the, um, merchants. Holding up okay? Better than I should be. Now this... Hmm, may sound like a strange question. Have you seen anybody in full plate? I mean, there's Aegon. Enter into town recently. Uh... I mean, a few... Hello? Can I help you? Hi. No. I'm just wondering why there's a barricade. Oh, it's a... We call it the wooden curtain. Oh, look at all these lovely oh, sorts. There he is. Oh. Ain't this lovely? Well, you know, I can talk to you about it later. Sure. Coming through. Let me get set up here. Alright, my display cages. Alright. Everything should be in order. Right, That's welcome nice to Wainwright Emporium. How can I be of assistance to you? Uh, raw foods, right? Do you have any of that in stock? Yes. Raw foods? You want... You're looking for rations, huh? You look like a rationy type. Something to cook with. Hmm. No. Something to cook with. Let me think. You have any flavors in particular? You want some meats? You want uh, stuff? Uh, what do you want? Come on, have it. What do you have for meat? Meats. Still might have a bit of that lamb. Might have a bit of the pork. Do you have carrots? Carrots. That's good carrots. for you. Think about it. Thank you for your eyes. Don't really deal in uh raw goods it's usually like they've been dried and processed for a while uh to cook with not so much i deal in finished products we could talk to harry i guess how about books Hmm? any books books yeah we got books got a genre oh anything 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 <clears throat> oh, did you have a type of genre to point me in the right direction? Adventure. Anything like that. Adventure. I guess. It is fiction. Fiction sure. and non fiction. Do you want historical accounts? Fiction. Alright. Yeah, Tales that of fake, Daring right? Do. Yeah, yeah, well, 
Yes, from the imagination. Non-fiction are your history books. Right. Which me <clears throat> the word fictitious in fake. Fiction. Therefore, me. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of I like that. Here you are. <laughs> Take a gander mm -hmm. at these. Kyler, you can see that Aaron lays a book down in front of you, the title of which on the cover reads Sands. <laughs> Picking it up and skimming through it, it seems like a story about a boy who was the son of a royal or noble family who was caught in the desert of Astagon and, and had to somehow make his way out. It describes the tale of his survival and ultimately how he assumed the throne of his noble house after a long sequence of betrayals, traps, and other houses attempting to take him down. Now this one here, that's a classic. All right. Great story, too. Um, well, you appear on that. How much? What are we looking for, sir? Oh, I'll get a price. Damn it, oil. Care. It's in good condition. I can do it for eight silvers. How often do these sell? Oh, these? Not very, because of books. Fiction, really. People want the historical stuff. But a book is a book. Uh, it might be here tomorrow. <laughs> You can make me an offer, at the very least. I'll come back when I'm done traveling. All right, we'll hold it on for you. Thank you. Of course. All right. We should uh, see if we can find Harry then for food. Yes. Take care. Tell your friends. <clears throat> I need oil. Is that it? I'll break it off. Ah, oil. oil. All right. Can't go spending eight silver on a book while we're saving for a ship and mercenaries. Mm. Creature comforts. Plenty of books when I get home. So you need your helmet or you're gonna keep going crazy. No, I'm already crazy. I don't think we we'll to have to worry about overheating in the same way. Never mind. You, you and I are both. You've already lost me. Sure? I mean, he's not done me. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Have you two seen Harry recently? Mm, not no. recently, no. I'll try his house. Thanks, anyway. So, he wasn't out by the... Uh, yeah, I didn't see him. I was... Practicing throwing this thing over by the... Uh, dust pit or whatever we call it. Didn't see him at all in the fields. Mm. Might be out of town. Thanks, Dredge. Thanks, Torty. No problem. Didn't realize shopping was so difficult in Nardus. Yeah, well, you'd think with a giant marketplace there'd be, you know, people to sell it, but... Hmm. Maybe they're all busy taking a nap or something. Some places in Gradia do a, uh... I think they call it a siesta in the afternoon. They everyone takes like a two-hour nap. Sounds like a big waste of time. <clears throat> Especially when you're trying to shop. Yes. <coughs> it's not a big deal if we can't find anything. You can always take care of it when we get back. Your honey won't spoil. Saying honey doesn't spoil. Not that quickly. Sounds quiet. Maybe you can just round up the ingredients when, while I'm gone. We could do that, sure. Uh, what do we need? Meat would be good. Okay. Fish is okay. Mm-hmm. Chicken's fine. I don't... I don't really like lamb. Kind of gross. Gross. Yeah, it's got a weird taste. Isn't it just? I mean, I'll eat it if I have to, but if I have a choice. Okay. You've never had lamb. Uh, well, isn't it just like sheep, like mutton? Doesn't taste good. It's not so meat. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'll avoid it. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know where everyone is today. It seems pretty quiet. So, meat. Uh, you said carrots, so I assume a couple vegetables. I just like carrots. <laughs> okay, we can find some carrots. <clears throat> wow, it is very quiet today. I mean, the dwarves have their deep roads. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I'd be surprised if they let you down there. No, I doubt they would. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Morgul. And yours? Mr. Oh. Do you have a last name or are you just Shariq? Shariq's fine. Alright. I was gonna say Mr. Something, but you know, Mr. Shriek doesn't really roll off the tongue. You don't have any raw food by Can any chance. You? We've been looking around the marketplace and no one's really. Oh, I have there. plenty. Uh, meats and vegetables, if possible. How much you need? Oh, of course, yes. Uh, I currently have 30 in stock. How much do you need? Just one. We're just learning to cook right now. Um, maybe like beef or something. All right, well, for usually you need about three units to make uh, one meal. Then, yeah, we'll get through that. So then. maybe, like, meat, some... Some, uh, some carrots, some carrots onions. potatoes, sound good? So you and... for her? So about six units? Uh, sure. I guess. All right. I don't know how to cook, so... sure. <laughs> so maybe you might need some more? Let's just start off small. No, you might need some more. Don't try it, and no. swindle me. Now hear him out, though. Who says anything about swindling? Hear him out. If you're just learning, I mean, after all, I think that would probably be a really good deal, getting a little bit more. Shariq, you never I'll know. Have the I mean, six units, somebody please. else might come around and want some more. Practice. Six unit? <clears throat> yes. Look, hey, what a smart you can make Dazeem, You can make Dazeem food you today. You can do 12. I think 12 would be <laughs> good. No, you know what I'm telling you to practice right now. Just the six units is fine. Thank you. And the six units? Yes. <clears throat> All right. Well. <laughs> if you want that, 50 copper for the six. Works for me. You really are right. Oh, I might really have to settle down here. Hmm. Where's she going? There you go. Thank you, Morgan. Well, good luck. I'm gonna have to hey. start getting used to calling you that, aren't I? Polite and to the point. That <coughs> easy. I do okay. Afternoon, Shriek. Ocean, good to see you. Uh, yes, you did fine. Rolls off the tongue a little differently. For a second, I th when you said practice, I thought you meant I like should. get more so we can practice more. No. I see. Don't need to waste all of your silver, but understanding how to cook meat slightly and not kill yourself. Useful skill. Okay. Have you really never attempted to cook anything? Um, Gregor taught me how to cook a fish. Only once, though. <clears throat> and what did he teach you? Actually, a little bit about foraging and seasoning, though I don't remember what any of the plants were, so it's kind of useless information. Pardon? He also said eating the eyeball is a great source of... Check your coin purse. going to assume that if yeah. there would be a god around and there's not. Just anytime someone does that, especially in Grodio. Old trick. I see. I'm not a master chef myself, but I can survive. <clears throat> Is this the kind of like 
is this like in kitchen cooking or should we like do it over a campfire or something? Like what kind of cooking are we going for? What do you want to learn? What do you think is more valuable? If we're going to be on the road and such, being able to cook would be nice, though I feel leaning more towards, <laughs> you know, when I'm at the keep or There's whatever. There's two portions. We'll cook <clears throat> something with one here. Okay. And we'll cook something out there with the other. Why is there a bowl on your floor? Oh. This is how you feed the bathhouse workers that come in. <laughs> Only when they ask for it. That was a joke. I certainly hope so. <clears throat> Not exactly thrilled at the idea of having to pack along a pregnant bathhouse worker to protect your air. That's not going to happen anytime soon, don't worry. Well, I'm sure you can start the fire. There we go. <clears throat> All right. What do you think you do first? Uh, one of these thingies. Holds up a pan. <laughs> yep. Okay. And then I just put the meat on top of it. Put the pan on the fire. Oh, we don't have a pan prop. Okay. Uh huh. Perfect. Let it get hot first. Cold pan is a dead pan. You don't want that. No dead pan. What do you think you do next? Okay, so like my thought process is to like just put the meat on top of it, but every time I do that, it sticks and it gets really crusty and then it gets black and then it it doesn't taste nice so i guess you're gonna have to find something to put in the pan that's gonna make it not stick something slippery and wet one or the other water water is a decent substitute you'll have to keep putting it in there though little bits as it evaporates there's this thing you have to use water Put water in the pan. Whatever. Looks like the, the meat. Looks like the kind of stuff we quench our blades in in the forge, but not like that. Definitely shouldn't be. No. Yeah. It looks like some kind of oil, but the eating kind. I see. <clears throat> they have the meat here. See that? It's very beautiful. Now you want to name it? No, because we're going to eat it. Get close to it. Form a bond. That's what makes it taste better. Apparently some nobles really go into that kind of thing. Like they have the farmer like name the cow and then they like raise the cow. And when they when they eat the, the meat, they're like, this cow was called Jeremy and he ate this and this and we slaughtered him three days ago. I, I'm not a fan of getting too personal with my food. I love how you just explained to me that you know more about noble eating than I do. That's cute. It was just rumors. I don't know if it's actually true. We hear a lot of shit from the streets about get everything the water. up there. Uh-huh. Animal fat or lard is usually pretty good. You can get it, but it's expensive. Water will do. So you have to continuously follow these two steps. You put a little bit of water in. And then you put the meat down. Give it about 30 seconds, and then flip it to the other side. Oh, I'm not going to do it for you. That would cook both sides of it. Um, Time's running out. Uh, uh, 
Don't use your hand. Well, that's what I was looking for. I'm looking for. Don't a, use your. I'm hand. looking for a thing. Anything will work. You there. could. You could literally use there. a ladle, there. a knife. No. Flip it. No. It's sliding. No. I. Ah. <sighs> huh? That's a lot darker than I thought it would be. Because it took a while. Yeah. The reason why you flip it quickly is because you don't want it to burn on each side. It's called a sear. A sear, okay. Now, if you're cooking with water, you want to repeat this step. Every 30 seconds. Water, flip. 30 seconds, flip. Water, flip. Because you don't have something that's fat-based, and this meat is particularly lean, it's not going to produce its own fat, so keep flipping it. A lot of the times you'll use water while you're out, because obviously you can't carry a pantry with you. Mm. Different meat will cook at different temperatures. Consider it the tougher the meat, the longer you want to cook it. <clears throat> Some meat you can get away with pink in the middle, like beef. Never want pink in fowl or pork. Fish you could eat raw for all I care, as long as it's fresh. What is, um, like, well done and, like, what's the other one? Medium rare and rare, because I hear people talking about that, but I don't know what it actually means. <clears throat> rare means that there's a lot of red still in it, and this is usually associated with beef. Medium rare is a little bit of pink. Well done, is there's no blood and there's no pink in it. Depends on what you want.